Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, welcome if you're new. Today we are going to be unboxing my Cora Crea box, Cora Crea Crafts. Um, I went ahead and um, opened the top because my address is on top of it. <coughs> Let's go ahead and get right into it, Let's see what we got this time. This is the bi-monthly box, this is their biggest box, it comes with the card that tells you everything that's in the box, which is really beautiful. And then our tissue paper, which is really beautiful. A little sponged up, it looks like, but that's okay. And this box is long. The last one I got was square. It was all kinds of goodies. Oh, nice. Um, this is their more expensive bi-monthly box. Um, first, this beautiful tube. Multi-purpose desk mat. Oh. Now I knew I was getting this one because they had some off cuts. Look at that design. That's just I'm gonna keep the tube, by the way. It's details. It's all the details. It's very pretty. It's, I know I was getting one because they emailed um requesting saying that um and I purposely don't look at what's in the box. Um that we're getting one of these, but they, they had a couple orders that were off-cut. Um, and am I okay with getting an off-cut mat? And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. I don't... It's not that off-cut. So, I didn't realize it was going to be quite this big. Put my tube down here. Hide it from my granddaughter so she doesn't snag it from me. There we go. And this is... This is really big. Ooh. Oh, it's fabric on the back. Well, it feels fabric. Oh, this is nice. Oh, and I will see, this is not that off cut. Well, the top has, I'm gonna zoom way out. The top has a little bit of cut right there. And then the bottom is a little bit wider. But that's okay. I don't mind that at all. And the sides are pretty even. Oh, this is nice. I dig this. And I love maps, so this is right up my alley. Cora Create Crafts on the corner over here. Over here. Right there. And then it's, it's just really lovely. It's very weighty. It unrolled really nice as well. There's no creases. There's no bends or folds. And that fabric, that's really soft. I Yeah, I dig this. This is nice. I'm thinking about getting something this big. It's three feet. It looks like it's three feet by one and a half. We'll have to look on the little, on the little thing when we, when we get rolling here. I'm gonna set it down. See, I knocked my tube over down there for now. Okay, let's move the box over. It always, always gets in the way. We have this bag. Oh, look at the washi tapes. Oh, pretty. Nice. I've been wanting some new washi tapes. Oh, there's another one. Yay. Four washi tapes. We have a little envelope. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. All right. And this, there's all our little, all our little goodies. Of the box. And I do save the tissue paper. Look at this tissue paper. It's a little mangled, but look at the color. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, nice. Okay, set this box way over there so it's out of the way. <coughs> and I apologize for my voice. I am just getting over yet another cold. Um, I'm just starting to feel like my normal self again. Um, so we have four washies. Let's go ahead and... Oh, this one's pretty. It's a little Christmas vibe to my mind. Oh yeah, that's pretty. This one is looks like a washy one. Where's the gotta, there it is. It's very um 
that it? Which way? There it is. Found it. It's very hard to find. Kind of matches my table a little bit. But there's a little beautiful Christmas tree design. That's lovely. Put that right there. <coughs> this one's all wrapped up. opening at East or something or another. Oh, okay. This has a little off cut at the top. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's nice. Alright, so repeating pattern. Oh, to about here. Yeah. But I love the color. It's very watercolor-esque, which is right up my alley. Isn't that beautiful? And I love that cut on the top. That's really pretty. Yeah, I, oh, I'm, gonna look, I'm looking forward to using this. I'll leave a little bit of it out so you guys can see it. Put it up here. That's really pretty. I like that. Okay, let's do this one next. Now, these are washi tapes and these are PET tapes the, the plastic ones um, that you can see through come on there we go There's, there it is um there we go surprised I'm not coughing um I haven't really talked yet today I'm trying to, I got laryngitis the weekend before last and completely lost my voice. So that's why I sound like this. It's coming back. Oh, these are pretty too. Ooh, I like these. Oh, these are nice. Come to me. Thank you. There we go. Oh, they did a little fold back. So they, oh, that's cool. All right. Oh, are these washi as well? Oh, these are beautiful. This is not PET. These are washi ones as well. <gasps> Exciting. Let's see if I can get this to come off there without ruining the first sticker because it's pretty sticky. There it goes. Ha ha ha. Nice. Got it. Oh, these are nice. Well. I'm not going to play with that right now. At any rate. Let's see. <coughs> Repeating pattern down to here. So we have all of these. Beautiful scenery, also watercolory, right? Which is right up my alley. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. And that's the last one right there. And then it repeats. So yeah, this is gorgeous. I love these. Oh, there's a lot too. There's quite a bit to the other ones as well, but this is a lot. Um, reminds me of the washi shop. Um, if you want quantity for a good price, the washi tape shop is a really good place to get washi tape sets. Um, set that there. Come on. Play nice. Okay. And here comes Astrid. What are you doing here? I am woo, doing my unboxing video, showing everybody my stuff. What you doing? But, uh, Are you still dancing? No, is that your hand? That's my hands right up there in the camera. Is that your hands? Is that your hand? No, that's the YouTube lady's hands. That's someone else on YouTube. Uh, but these that, are my hands. And those are your hands? Mm-hmm. But I want to get up here. Well, let Nana finish doing this. 
and then you can come up, okay? Okay, okay, okay. You gonna check on Mama? What's she doing? She what is she up to? Huh? What is she up to? Come on, I'll show you. Oh, you you go check on her and come back and tell me. What's yeah. she doing? Is she making dinner? No. Oh, look at that one. Oh, this is pretty too. We do that one. That's very pretty. Yeah, Reminds me of libraries and books, and I imagine that's supposed to. But yeah, oh, that's very pretty. Careful, careful, don't pull on that, please. There we go. Oh, that's a long stretch right there. Oh, this is really pretty. I love this. Okay, so there we go. There's our washi tapes that we got. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? I'm dying to know what's in this bag. What's in the bag, Astrid? What? What's in this bag? I don't know. You don't know? Because it was in there. Ooh. What? Nana got a new book. Oh, look how pretty that is. I love the bag. Huh? You want the bag? No. It looks like I'm going to keep it. Okay. You can just show Mama. So, close the door, please. Take your boo. No. Okay. Don't forget the boo. Okay. Boo is her blanket. He is the most precious. And see, I already lost the bag. <laughs> uh, I probably wouldn't use it anyways. This is beautiful. Look at that. This is supple. Let's unbuckle it. And it is fed through right here. This is stitched. Oh, nice. Stitched signatures. I do love stitched signatures. This feels like drawing paper. Really nice drawing paper, super smooth. Oh, look at that. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six signatures. What? How many? Yes. I want a little book in here. A little book? Mm -hmm. Okay, one second. Okay, let's get back to this. This is really nice. Um, it's beautiful stitching beautiful stitch work here I've just gotten into bookmaking look at the little decorative stitches there oh this is really really nice I love it I love it can't wait to work in this one this is going to be saved probably for next year no <laughs> so silly that's not going to happen I'll be I'll be including it in the sketch sessions videos that I do. That'll be fun because this is, this is drawing paper. It's not watercolor paper. Yeah, that's very nice. Now let's un undo these. Look up. This is fold or folding scissors. Oh neat! Oh, for traveling with. How neat is that? So you pull out. Yes. And, oh, look at that. Those are adorable. They feel very sharp. Oh, yes. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. Those are adorable. Look at that. Super nice. And then they safely, because there's protecty little things there, because I'm dangerous. This they didn't have the little protectors. I, and you can put a string through right there and hang them around your neck if you're one of those people that travels to craft. I don't do that yet. Maybe some point. These small scissors are perfect for travel. They fold and are easy to carry. They're silver, stainless steel. Nice. Very cool. I take those. Okay, let's do this because it's a beautiful envelope. Old Cities, a set of 36 pieces of ephemera. Got a little sticky thing there. Ooh, okay, these are nice. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, these are super pretty. Hi, baby girl. Thank you for the hug. You're welcome. 
You're welcome, she says. She forgot to close the door and her mom's got music on. Hold on. I don't want to have to edit music out of the background. These are beautiful. They're very um, uh, firm cardstock. And these are just ephemera or are they stickers? I gotta check. Nope, just ephemera. Oh, they're so pretty though. Look at how gorgeous. Ooh. ooh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love that. I wish I had that when I was doing my my page. All right, we're just going to, I'm not going to spread these all out because I will, the video will take a really long, that's, these are just beautiful. Mind blown with the quality. Very thick, beautiful printing, gorgeous colors. Ooh. No, no, I'm playing with my new stuff. You have to wait. Ooh, look at that. Look at all the gorgeous color. I love hot air balloons. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to hide these from Astrid because she's going to want all of them. And the answer is no. <laughs> I love the cut, the edges. That ragged edge, that's just fantastic. These are beautiful. I am in love. And they're... they're they're right up my alley for scrapbooking too. Bookmarking. Oh, these would make some really pretty bookmarks. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Actually, just tuck that in a book, just as is. That's really pretty. I dig that one. These are these are just gorgeous. I'm. Ooh, look at that. I honestly was expecting like Easter and spring. This is really nice. Yeah. This is a relief because I got a bunch of bunnies in my which granted I used up, but um, I wasn't want, wanting or needing more bunnies. This is so pretty. Oh. And this is the last one of the this cardstock kind of feeling ones. And then we have these beautiful same ones but yep all the same ones but in this beautiful washi uh, yeah these are stickers <gasps> these are washi stickers oh my gosh so this is this just ephemera or is this a sticker this is ephemera so we got little card cuts and all right now I gotta look at the paper I try not to look at the paper until I'm done. Oh, I'll look at the paper when I'm done. It's right here. So aren't those gorgeous? I am in love. And the difference between is the washies are much more muted colors. See? There we go. They have more muted colors. They're more subtle. Which I love. I fully enjoy. Okay, we'll set these guys over here. Put their envelope. And then... Ancient cities. Let's not destroy my. I think this is a stamp pack, right? Collection treasure box. Yeah, stamps, clear stamps. How nice. That does not want to open nicely. Let's grab our scissors and put it in here. Gently, so I don't ruin anything. Do that. Oh, I'll be right back. Okay, let's pop these out. Let's see, ooh. Okay, so it's what's on the box. Well, we have what's on the package is what's on our stamp. So that's cool. And that's how my other ones from these guys came as well. Um. What's on the package is what's in the stamp pack, so I, I don't even have to open it to, to look, which is really nice. And I like the script. <coughs> Pompeii. Some of them are a little hard to read. Medina. Athens. Babylon. 
Timber Timber 2? Is that how you say that? This is really nice. And they come in a little... I'll pull them out of this. Because I won't use them if they're tucked in here. There we go. And they come tucked in. They have a little protective sleeve so that you can pull that off and then pull your stamp off and put it on your little block. And choose your ink. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. I'm slowly collecting stamps and inks. Um, I have quite a nice set now. This is a really nice addition for my... Um, I'll use the script probably a lot. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, I'll put this guy back since I don't want to get things messed up. I don't want to get things mixed up. Okay, and here's our last thing. We have, ooh, vellum and paper and stickers of old cities. This is their treasure box theme, I'm thinking. This is a nice set of stuff. And then pull off our little, our little band. So, oh, there it is. Ta -da. We use that for bookmark making. <laughs> Always thinking. Okay. Ooh. Oh wow, that's nice. The vellum paper always feels so fabulous. Let's. Get some white background so you can see what it really looks like. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. So beautiful. And for me, this is really nice to put as a background in one of my scrapbook pages. These are gorgeous. Oh, the texture, I just can't even. It's not super thin. It's got a little weight to it, which is... Fantastic. This is the vellum, right? Yeah. Look at that. And you can cut it up and use it any way you want. Um, but isn't that pretty? Look how beautiful. Can't even make a nice um Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. That'd make a nice cover on a on a journal, wouldn't it? on a journal in this landscape orientation. That'd be pretty to get. I love the script around the outside and this watercolor vignette situation. That's gorgeous. And you could, you could cut up around your buildings and the skyline and make it into two separate pieces. How fun would that be? I mean, you could make it into bookmarks as well. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Mesopotamia. That's beautiful. Look at the details. That's insane. Oh, and the script is really beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm, we're going to take our time to go through these. Since it's not a lot, I love the script. I love this. Look at all the detailing. The, the, this is really beautiful. And dig in there, get in there, get in there. That's craziness. Craziness, I tell ya. It's really interesting to try to paint and draw these in that monochrome feel. Even the the roof behind the pillars, it, mind boggling, mind boggling. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, she says, gorgeous, gorgeous. And again with the script at the top is one of the the. I don't know what that word is. It is one of the planet's last great wilderness. Yeah, I can barely get all that, but 
that's just my eyes, my old eyes. <coughs> Ooh. See, that's beautiful. Yeah. Beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. And I, I love the colors, the coffee colors. That sepia ink color. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh. I know a certain someone that would be interested to, to see this one. That's really pretty. Look at all the detailing. That's just nuts. Nuts, I tell ya. Crazy. How, uh, what would be even crazier would be to go see these kinds of things. To travel the world. <coughs> yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, I like this down here. And all the little details on the the map. I love maps. I love maps. This is something I would put in a little frame and hang on my wall. I think it's beautiful. I mat it and, and frame it and hang it on the wall. That's pretty. And uh, I think this is the last. Yeah, these, these are our stickers. Last of the vellum papers. Look at the gorgeous colors. And then the text. The, just the quality is just really, really nice. Which is something that for a scrapbooking kind of company, I, want, I don't expect the quality that I'm getting with this company, and it's so nice. And I love their sticker paper sheets. Um, these are beautiful, and it's the same set as this. And it's all um, stickers. Let's, let's pull, pull a pretty one. This beautiful beautiful one right here and it is a sticker the whole thing it's a sheet of sticker with pretty good adhesive um yeah and you got one of all of these that we just saw as a sticker as well um let's grab our last our last one here to compare colors. Come on. They like each other a lot. They're a little clingy. To compare our colors. So this is our our sticker and this is our vellum. And the, the colors are very different from let's give that a white background. From piece to piece, right? But still absolutely beautiful. I like the difference. Um, where's our... Where's this guy? Close. It's super close. But... There's a nice... There's a nice difference. This is more sepia and yellows, and this is more reds and oranges, which is beautiful, right? They're all beautiful, just in their own way. Yeah, I dig it. I dig it. So that's the whole collection, you guys. That's, that's we got, um, what does it say? How many of each? Vellum paper and number TB FM24. Designed by Storm Shadows in. Oh, and this, if you're not familiar, this is the website and Instagram. If you, if you want to check them out, I recommend them. Um, so we have one, two, right? These would be easier to count because they're slickery. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So ten, ten does designs of the vellum and 10 sticker sheets. That's a nice set. <coughs> and then it comes with this beautiful... Oh, and don't forget our desk mat that came in the tube as well. Let's see if I can lay it down here and zoom way out so you guys can get a real good feel for it. 
That's as out as my camera goes. It's my little hand. <laughs> uh, here's a six inch ruler. A six inch ruler for you. So six, 12, what's that? Oh, they did it in centimeters. 12, roughly 13, 14, 15, 16 <coughs> by three feet. Uh, and then we have our handmade belt journal, which is eight by 11. It's really beautiful. Um, our beautiful transparent tape, our old cities tape. Um, are those, are those cut out? Come to me. Oh, this is cut out up there. Okay. I was going to say, these didn't look cut out. They look like a continuous feed. Like this little roof line right there is the end of that sticker. And then this one starts here, and there's this little roof line here that goes with that sticker. Yeah. Yeah. Super pretty. The washi tapes themselves are just beautiful. Washi tape's kind of pricey, so... Um, this box, this particular box, the big box, is $110 every two months. So, if you break it down, fit, but roughly $55 a month. Um, and I've paid that much for craft boxes. And vellum paper and sticker pack. 20, 20 pages of unique designs from different places and ages. A5. Um, and there's our 15 by 15 centimeter stamp set that you guys saw. Our beautiful folding scissors. And our ephemera pack. So, for me, this was well worth the money. Um... You guys, it's so pretty. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm in love with it. I love the mat. Uh, and this is, it just gives you a breakdown of what come came in. And this I will use as a background for and put images, stickers, or I will use the whole thing as maybe a cover. For a journal, a little journal. Always thinking, always thinking. Bookmark. These can be put away, these little bags. I put those away because every once in a while I need one and I'm like, where are those bags? Don't need this or these. Pretty on the ball about. Um, see, this will make a beautiful bookmark. Oh, I didn't even flip it over. Already got me started. <laughs> So cool. All right. Our folding scissors are beautiful. This is so nice. And our gorgeous ephemera. Ephemera is papers and stickers that you put in your scrapbooking or paper crafting. And I'm kind of munching this one up a little bit. Look at our tapes. They're so pretty. Can't even. So pretty. We've got four washi tapes, a beautiful stack of ephemera, gorgeous stickers and papers, stamps, our book, our cute scissors, and our beautiful big mat for $110. I don't think that's a bad price. If you broke these down individually, it's a pretty good steal um, on wonderful products. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. What's your favorite part? Um, what do you want to see me do with this stuff? Are you interested in seeing me make maybe make a couple bookmarks and and maybe a little we can turn this into a little sketchbook. I have all kinds of papers. I would just if you want a binding you would just fold it thusly and then Personally, I don't really measure, which is kind of becoming a little bit of a problem. Um, but right about there, I think would be perfect for binding. Fold there, take this side, 
and fold there. Come on. And fold there. And then you have your, your little book shape, right? And if it's not quite even, you can trim, trim the edge. Um, sometimes I don't mind. See how it, this side, is, is a, the back is a little bit wider than the front. Sometimes I don't mind that because you can put a little bit of piece of lace or decorative element on the front cover to make the book even. So don't trim it right away. Give yourself a shot, a chance. Um, and you could take a bit of washi tape and run it down your your spine to give it some beautiful... <coughs> See, this would be pretty down that spine. Um, here, I'll just show you. There's enough on the roll, I mean. And I will probably just finish making this. Um, I kind of like this section here. Yeah, to right about there. And then we can have my pretty scissors. Uh, oh, you know what we can do? Let's just do that. Kind of center it on your on your fold so that you got an even amount on either side. How's that? Scooch it over this way. There we go. That feels better. And I do a lot of this stuff by feel. There, and then we'll turn it over. Unwrap this. Pull this down. And that just gives you a little bit of security in your binding. Get rid of that little tip there. Go ahead and snip that right there. And pull this. See, and you can, because it's washi tape, you can recenter it. Make sure it's where you need it to be. And fold this side up. Give it a little scrubby scrub. And then it also folds nicely as well. So you can fold it. This is a bone folder if you don't know. Like that. And then get over here and get this side down. I'm not worried about gluing this down. Normally I would glue it down with an addition because washi tape's not that strong. Um, but look. Already got it perfect little book binding. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. And the center, it looks like this, but once you get your beautiful cover on and your interior papers on, <coughs> so fun. This, this stuff, mm, can't even, it's so fun to do, you guys. Bookmaking, this kind of bookmakings, this this artistic kind of collage elements and throwing things together to just see what they look like and how they do. Woo! He's like, no, I want to play. These are adorable. These I'm going to leave out, though. This way. Because I will use these all the time when I have tight little spots to get into. These work nice, but the handle's kind of bulky. Sometimes, sometimes I need to get it in, just get a little tip tip in there. So those will be really nice for that. <coughs> and then we can choose our, you can choose a washi sticker, um, or you can choose like something like this for your your little cover. Isn't that pretty? And then you could put, you can cut it down to size, of course, 
I'll choose a little embell. Ooh, this one. Little embellishment to put on there. That's so pretty. Aren't they gorgeous? Do we have anything with pillars? Do we have anything with pillars? Pillars, anyone? I don't think so. Ooh, this is cool. And you could put a little, put this guy down here. You want to overlap a little bit. And I would glue that down. And then maybe one of our pretty hearts. Because they're just to carry that red. And you can stack them like that. That's pretty. You don't have to go hog wild on the cover either. You don't want to cover everything up. Maybe you just want to do this kind of centrally located and maybe put, um, maybe keep it simple like that. Isn't that pretty? Put a little cover for your book. And then you would just take the leftover bits and do your back cover. See those long? You just choose a section that you like. The, the long pillars are nice, like that. You can put those on the cover or on the back. Because... Come to me. Let's see what we have in here. Ooh, that's, that's cool. Ooh, that's pretty. This is a little small to, for me to be using the stickers on. But the vellum papers I wouldn't mind cutting up. Ooh, all right. And you could actually make the book go this way as well, so that you can put your words here, and it opens this way. And then as you're working, it gives you a nice um, portrait area to draw or write or work, depending on how you, what kind of paper you put in here. And then take, see that's your, your front cover right there, or the bottom can be your front cover. You can cut that off and make it your back cover. See what I'm doing? See what I'm saying? And then once you get that all glued on, you can make your little signatures. Um, I would do maybe three signatures, and they would be no more than three or five pages folded so that gives you a uh, double-sided if you do five pages fifth what five ten fifteen pages um, to write just on the front or it'll give you 30 to 30 page a little 30 page booklet so that's what I would do with this and then with this one I would take um, I would kind of let this be what it is Maybe that could be the front, and I'll take my corner rounder. Well, these are just ideas. I'll take my corner rounder on the large setting and kind of fix, for me, fix the round corners. I like nice round corners on my bookmarks. I think that looks more elegant. I think it looks prettier. This would make two bookmarks. I would go ahead and give it a little trim there. That's not very straight. That's all right. We can fix that. There we go. I'll trim this top off. Or you could leave it on there. You could fold it down. You could poke a hole in it. You could do all kinds of stuff. Prefer for me, I would just snip that off and put it in the recycle. Recycle little bits. I don't save the teensy itsy bitsy bits. <coughs> it's just too much. That's just over and above, right? These little itty bitty bits. One day I'll find a way to use them. No, you won't. No, you're just gonna have a stash of weird crumbs. <laughs> Uh, and if you're one of those people that found a way to use them, uh, kudos to you. Uh, share your stuff. Link it. Um, but yeah, so there you go. You have those. And then this you could cut or, or fold it. Uh, take the sticker and just fold it.
fold it around. That would be beautiful. Should we make one? Should we should we do that with this? With the sticker of this one? Let's do it. All right, just to show you what it looks like. <coughs> Why not? And I have my little straight cutter so we can get a nice cut. Excuse me. I don't want to ruin everything. Oh, should we cut it in the middle like that? No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to cut it here. Line it up nicely. Give it a little cut. And then I think I'm going to cut this side off. I like this right here. I don't want to separate that. <coughs> so, now our two pieces. And this is the, st the sticker paper. So remember I said um, I have a little scrap paper, a piece of sandpaper. If you're using um, scraps that are super silky, glue is eventually going to pop off of this. So I tend to give it a little sand. Rough it up. Not a lot, just enough to get rid of the shine and give the glue something to stick to. Takes that shiny surface off. Gives it a little, little grit. We'll do both sides. And you can go up and down. Do a little bit of crossways work. Super fast, super easy. You don't need to get... It doesn't need to be perfect. Just take that shine off. See how now it's not quite so shimmery. And it feels less shimmery. Put that off of my pants. Okay. And we'll take our glue. And I save these from sticker backs. If you have bunches of sheets of stickers, save your backs because they protect your surface from glue and then you can get right to the edges and corners and not worry about everything coming up and then take your washi sticker and peel that off and stick it on just the way you want it to be so, I'm going to separate it out. Is it too short? That's okay. If it is, we can fix that. I don't think it is. And for me, this is all hit and miss, too. Let's see? Oh, oh, it's already pretty. I'm already in love with it. And if you want, you can wrap that around washi stickers, so you can see, which I don't mind, you can see the print underneath that was on that paper. I just think it lends character to your, to your piece. Go ahead and get down some more glue. And this just helps it last longer. You don't want your um, beautiful sticker paper to come up off the bookmark over time. That's, that'd be a serious bummer. Excuse me, my darling. Fold this over. Let's zoom in just a bit. There we go. Fold that over like that. And then take our other beautiful piece of washi tape. Ooh, washi tape, washi sticker. And the joy of these washi stickers, this these are actually pretty sticky, um, is that uh, you can peel them back up in most instances to readjust if you need to. So I'm trying to get that edge down. 
that down just a bit too far. Here, try to line that up. There we go. And then my bone folder and try to get the creases and bubbles out. They also lend a bit of um, nostalgia and interest. So don't be too annoyed if there's creases and bubbles. A few creases make it look a little more vintage. Like that. And then do we want to cut this off or fold it over? I'm going to trim it down. I'm going to get my bigger scissors for that. Just because it won't take as long. I do like my silver or my gold scissors because they're nice and sharp but this is very delicate washi tape or washi sticker so it doesn't take much to cut it there you go set that aside excuse me and then come over here trim that top straight across and then trim this trailing edge of tape right there. Gently. I don't want to get too far in. There we go. Get this bottom edge. See, these are so much sharper. little bit that's hanging off right there. There we go. And there is a bookmark. Now I would take my little hole punch and give it a little punch. And then if you want, you could add stuff to this as well, which will just make it a little bulkier. Um, it's a little bendy because it's a piece of scrap, um, super thin scrap paper with washi tape over the top of it. We don't mind that though. And if you want, you can round your corners on the small setting. Just gives it a little, just a little tip. I prefer a bolder, um, rounded edge so I usually go medium or large like that I prefer it's just aesthetically that's what I prefer um, if you don't like that don't do that and then maybe take a little bit of ink I would take my ink pad or if you have these little daubers and for me, for me, not everybody likes this, you can go around and just darken the edges, especially if there's white paper or colored paper peeking through. It just lends a little bit of more vintage style. So we got a little bit of white showing through right there. We'll just put a little ink on it. Like that cute and then we could put a little string a little ribbon are we getting carried away yet is anybody thinking dear god she's never gonna stop get her going she just won't stop okay i have this set i have all kinds of ribbons and different stuff This little green leafy one would be kind of interesting. What's the end of you? There you are. No? Yes? I don't know where the end is. Oh, there it is. It's kind of glued down. So it won't come unwound. We'll do a little... Is 
that. Poke that in there. Oh, that's adorbs. Oh, that's adorbs. Let's see if I can get it to do this. Cut it a little short. And it's a bit bulky. Nope, that's not going to work. So, what you can do is staple it, which would be cute. Um, you can glue it. I might sew it. I'm going to get my, my... My granddaughter wants me to come out and make her a smoothie. Um, I might sew that together. Because then it'll stay longer, right? It'll be more long-lasting. So that that's... It, you know, long and short, a little cute bookmark made with some of our stuff. And we used up a bit of scrap. And I would do the same kind of thing with this. Um, and see this? Don't throw that away. Save that. It'll protect your table from gluing little things, little bits of whatnot um, to your table. So, yeah. And I just wait for the glue to dry, and I know it looks terrible, but um, I wait for the glue to dry, and I just stick it back up on there. <laughs> but yeah, so there, there's our, there's our box. That's our unboxing. A little bit of um, creative idea for you, right there. <coughs> this I will probably put on the cover of a book or something. I don't know. I, I just really like it so much. Okay, so that's where we're at. Thank you so much for sticking around for so long and putting up with my voice not being great. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.